lot of people mistakenly think that Cannon created the Cannon Cripple Hammer, but he was actually just a byproduct, a mathematical anomaly in the process of making the 5D Mark IV. In just a few years, the Cannon Cripple Hammer has had many inspiring accomplishments. The 6D Mark II line skipped mode, that was impressive. Motion JPEG in the 5D Mark IV, unheard of at his time. The 4K crop in the M50, people are still trying to get over that one. But I tell you, we found its greatest feat to date. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So you may look at this image and say, that's pretty good. Canon, not bad. Show the world. Nice colors. Exposure, decent. Let me show you something. So how's this look now? Did you notice a difference? Is it noticeably better? It should be. But maybe you don't even see it. Maybe you don't see it until this happens. What's happening right now? A little dark, are we? It actually looks pretty good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, this whole video. I tell you, every time I want to prove a point and I try to replicate something, it just goes haywire. Every time. So let me show you. We're in C log right now. This is the point I was trying to prove. See how dark I am? It always exposes for the highlights and then the autofocus gets all weird. This is what happens in C log. Let me turn off C log. Now we're in the faithful profile, so we've gotten out of C log, which means we had to switch from 10 bit to 8 bit. And now watch this. What? Wait for it. You see it? Face exposure. You might argue this looks worse, but for some reason, Canon will not expose for the face in C-Log 10-bit. So you have to cripple hammer your way down the totem pole to 8-bit EOS R style. It hurts the face. On a side note, these 4K HQ files, we're in 8K now. I just want to test it. They're so much easier to edit in 8-bit and faithful profile. Don't even need to color grade it, so there's some quirks that are in our favor. So now we're at 8 K. Can we edit it? And I will say I just made two videos, one for this channel, one for my other one, in 4K HQ 8-bit, and it didn't even get close to overheating, so I think that's the least of Canon's problems. So let's get back to the video. You know, I proved the point in here, but not out there. I suck outside. Before I leave, 8K has one use, to peer into people's souls. Oh, stop, get out. Get out of here. Okay, C-Log is off. Why, hello to me. Why, he oh, hi. Oh, how you doing? Oh, you're exposing for me now, are you? Ah, I didn't change any metering settings. Well, it's almost as if C-Log is crippled. It's almost as if 10-bit and face exposure can't exist in the same dimension. So I've been hunting through these menu systems trying to find out why the metering disappears in video mode. In photos, it's all there. Evaluative, spot metering, that stuff sucks. Spot metering, oh god, it's like this big. What if I do that? You're done for. And the relentless Canon fanboys in the comments defending their home. Oh, you probably have highlight tone priority on. That's why it's doing it. It's grayed out in C-Log, you son of a fuck. I could have sworn. I did that on the R6. Sky was good, I was exposed, it was like, okay. It was a little clipped. I think that was only when I switched to Faithful, which we're in now. So for some reason, C-Log in 10-bit will not expose for you only the highlights. It's not terrible. It's not like it's terrible. You can work around it if you're out here, you're walking around. It was funny, I was talking shit about this very thing and then in the first half of the video, even in the darkness, it looked good. It still looked good, but then there was a couple moments. You go under some tree cover, and it no longer exposes for you. It hurts. And one might argue that this looks worse. If it catches up, and then like that's all clippy, and it's like the Canon EOS R used to do it. That. This looks worse than what it does in C-Log not exposed, just letting the highlights rest in peace. But the reality is, if you're vlogging, like we all are, this will not expose for you in its best mode, 10-bit, C-Log, 
we're back down in loser mode, 8-bit. Dynamic range of a kitten on a dinosaur. I bet you the autofocus struggles as well in C-Log. That was the problem, because I was in C-Log and underexposed. Whereas here, it'll probably never lose me, ever. I'm behind a tree. There's no light here. <laughs> now we're at like dual pixel autofocus again. As long as you don't use the best features of the camera, C-Log struggles are real. Things are only going to get worse for you with C-Log 3. I don't even want to see that file. But man, the 10-bit is so hard to edit. So maybe this, we're in 4K HQ. Maybe this is easy to edit. I'll let you know right here is an easy 8-bit loser style. How's the demon let perform? Yeah, it falls apart, doesn't it? It fell apart hard. How about the avatar LUT coming in the camera conspiracies LUT pack? It's not the most gracious thing you've ever seen, is it? No, maybe the IBIS performs better too. I zoomed into 18 mils, so to replicate a Zeiss Battis, take that. So I tell you, a lot of problems on this beast if you want to be the top of the mountain. So really you're back to the Canon EOS R, only you don't have a crop in 4K. Possibly worse if you use the line skipped mode. No, I think that's the same as the EOS R. HQ, you're better. 8K, that's cool. Do you have any idea how much of a nightmare that 8K video was to edit? My card kept failing. It kept saying GPU memory full, and then I'd have to close down DaVinci and restart it. What a pain in the bitch. People are suggesting, oh, if you edit with an iPad Pro, you got it. Who the hell does that? Who touches an iPad for more than four seconds? Radiation, dick. You're gonna grow a third finger. Who the hell even has an iPad? What is this, 1996? Give me a break. Desktop computers all the way, or laptop if you travel. But that's the shit. You get your mechanical keyboard, everything's good, big screen, you're good to go. Some people like two screens. Your mom's two screens if she was a foot. I think it's just Windows 10 is lacking the codec that can play this 10-bit file. Whereas the Sony's fine. It has nothing to do with 10-bit 422 because the Sony has that exact format and it plays smooth in 4K, 4K 120p, 10-bit 422, breathing like a breeze. None of that made sense. But these files, I can't even play them. I use Pot Player because it just, it works best for me. It's easy to fast forward stuff, it's full screen, it looks good. It won't even play it and it's like, oh, download the codex and it sends me to some weird ass site. I ain't downloading nothing from that site. So. I can't even play the files. It's frustrating. So maybe that has something to do with the editing choppiness and eventually Windows will release the codec, DaVinci will grab it, will suck it up, and then we can edit these files and then you might have something. But as I've shown you, you cannot expose doing this movement in 10-bit only in 8 bits. Imagine not being able to do this. As well as the autofocus struggles, and potentially, if the IBIS is improved, the IBIS struggles for some reason. Can't even handle the computational photography technology. I'll be honest, I'm bitching for no reason. Just looking at this screen, I'm like, yeah, good enough dynamic range. I'm exposed, the sky's blue, decent. There's zero problems. This is probably easy to edit too. The Canon fanboys hurt the soul though, listening to them speak. Whenever I say Canon doesn't have good RF glass for vlogging, they'll come out and say, oh, you're an idiot, bro. <laughs> so much great RF glass. We've got that 28 to 70 and the 51.2 and the 85. It's like, for vlogging, you scrub ass trick. Why is that guy doing it? Stop it. I just went to the library, picked up this book. Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. How to Lose Your Mind and Create a New One. I think every camera company should follow and read this book, Canon, Stop Losing Your Mind and Crippling Your Cameras. Panasonic, Stop Trying to Autofocus with a Blindfold On. We have a new algorithm. We can see 14% underneath the blindfold. Phase Detect 
autofocus you and Sony stop making the perfect camera ending my channel it's bullshit it's rude and Olympus stop going out of business so many times and so often and pretending that you're gonna make a new camera with the new Japanese investment for they make sushi that's all they know how to make and Fuji stop being so amazing Stop it. Honestly though, forgetting the dynamic range, like right now, you just clipped everything to expose me back litten. It's a little bit of bullshit, but besides that, Canon does have a great image, great colors, high resolution, good autofocus as long as you don't use 10-bit or any of its good features. Stabilization not so great, unless we fixed it. We didn't. It's not bad. We're back out at 15 mils, by the way. So if warpiness has returned, we just know you can't stabilize anything unless you're Olympus with the digital stabe. Fantastic. One thing I got to address before I leave, I keep getting these comments. We all know the user error is real here and it hurts us all equally and powerfully. But people are saying like, oh, I've seen footage so much better than, the IBIS is way better than you're showing me. Just show me, post a link down below to a guy vlogging at high noon that has so much better image than this. Maybe he color graded it a little better, but show me that IBIS that's so smooth with this 15 mil lens. Let me see it. He didn't stabilize it in post. I wanna see it, that the colors are just so much better. Everything you do is a lie. <laughs> I'm just showing you what this camera can do, and it's not much. It's pretty pleasing at times. Now, no 10 bit. But this is it. This is what you can expect for high noon vlogs. Shaky one-hander. Let's see the guy that can even hold this thing extended out that far. Let's see him. Does he follow monkey strength? I don't think he does. Admittedly, I've got a bit off track focusing on image quality. That was never the goal. It was always ease of use. And we could have ended this quest a long ass time ago with a Canon M50, if we're being honest. That Sigma 16 mil in my living room. So I don't even know what we're doing here anymore. We're just looking for stuff. Just talking shit, but it's fun. I have fun and I'm gonna continue to do it. So what do you think? Is that a blatant cripple that you only auto expose for the face without 10 bit or C log? The best modes. It's weird that you can only choose C log and 10 bit together. Once you leave one, you leave the other. That's weird stuff. Some cripple hammers. Oh, we didn't cripple it. That's a conspiracy theory. <laughs> that guy, <laughs> what a fraud. You know that cannon cripple hammer's been swinging its way around the office. It hurts. It hurts that it's real, but you have to face the truth. And ghosts are real. That guy's on a bike. I'm gonna leave. Thanks, sir. Find a camera conspiracy t-shirt. <laughs> Subscribe for more videos. I'll see you later.